Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many .NET Core developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to enable server garbage collection in their application, myapp.exe, which was developed in Visual Studio 2017 and is running on the 1.0.4 version of the SDK. They've attempted to configure this by adding an app.config file with the necessary settings, but it seems that the GC mode isn't changing as expected. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how to effectively enable server GC in .NET Core. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. To enable server garbage collection in your .NET Core application, we first need to understand that the configuration file you are using, app.config, is not applicable for .NET Core applications. Instead, you should create a runtime config.json file. This file allows you to specify runtime settings for your application, including garbage collection settings. Make sure to place this runtime config.json file in the same directory as your myapp.exe. This will ensure that the .NET runtime picks up the configuration when your application starts. After setting up the runtime config.json file, you can run your application. To verify that server GC is enabled, you can use performance monitoring tools or check the output logs. In summary, remember that for .NET Core applications, use runtime config.json instead of app.config to enable server GC. This will help improve the performance of your application under load. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To enable server garbage collection in .NET Core, you have a couple of options depending on your .NET version. First, you can modify the runtime config.json file, add the property system.gc.server and set it to true. Alternatively, you can set server garbage collection in your project file. Include the property server garbage collection and set it to true. For more detailed information, check the official Microsoft documentation. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.